Well, it's property that's been in the family for generations. But for the last year, every time it rains, they're afraid that part of it is going to be destroyed. Tonight on the CBS 6 News at 6, problem solver Laura French will join us in investigating a Dominion Energy project in Louisa County that some farmers say is threatening their land. And she joins us now with a preview. First of all, tell us a little bit about the project. What are the farmers saying here? Well, the farmers, you know, really, they said they had a rude awakening. Um, they really pay close attention to the forecast. Rain for them, Rob, is a four-letter word, really. And they're talking about the neighbors they have. It is a solar plant on about 1,000 acres sitting right next to them. They live off of Bickley Road in Louisa County. Dominion owns that solar plant. They're not, they have nothing against solar energy, but for right. them, these neighbors, due to stormwater runoff, it has been a real hassle for them because they have lived on this property, one of them, all their lives. It's been in their family for four generations. And, um, you know, they said, as you can see right there, that is their backyard, Rob. Wow. Um, they said that this is becoming a real nightmare because the property that they own and love, you can see the pictures don't lie, they say, it's being literally washed away with each and every rain. Well, look, you're an investigator here. You've collected a lot of this video. You've collected some of the documentation. Is it backing up the allegations here? Yes, and the DEQ, they got behind them. They said in the very beginning, Rob, that they reached out to every one of their Board of Supervisors mem uh, members, anyone that would listen. In the beginning, they said no one was listening. So they contacted the state. They got the Virginia Department of um, you know the VDEQ involved, and then they said they they went on social media and they started posting these videos every day, every time it rains, uh, rain, and then they did um, you know seek out the attention of the media, and that's when I got involved. And under the Freedom of Information Act, I started you know looking at what I could find um, on this property. Yeah, you mentioned the Louisa County Board of Supervisors. Are they sympathetic here? Are they helping? Once we did make an inquiry, they have since visited the property. Um, and they now, um, as recently as their September 7th meeting, they're using words on this project um, like catastrophic, terrible. Now, we want to make sure that we're being fair here. Dominion, even before I could reach out to them, they knew that I was investigating this. Mm -hmm. They reached out to me. Mm -hmm. They said, let's do an on-camera interview. They have taken responsibility. They have gotten in front of this. They have said, this is something solar is fairly new. We are going to learn things that we do right, things that we do wrong in this project. They are accepting responsibility, and this is a learning process. You're going to learn all about what is happening and next steps and the future of solar energy moving forward in Louisa County. Yeah, Indiana. there's a lot more to this story, so we hope you join us. Join Laura tonight on the CBS 6 News at 6 and 11. Thank you, Laura.